Hey there, fellow space explorers, today, we've got some exciting news about Starfield Straight from the game's director, Todd Howard. As we eagerly await Starfield's September release, Howard has been making the rounds, giving us more insight into what this sci-fi epic has in store for us, and let me tell you, it's going to be an adventure like no other. In a recent interview on the Kinda Funny Scast, Howard revealed some intriguing details about Starfield's vast universe and its many Procgen planets. Now, you might be wondering, how much handcrafted content will there be on these planets? Well, according to Howard, Bethesda won't be handcrafting entire planets, but rather focusing on creating unique individual locations like cities and quest-related spots. The rest of the planets will feature a suite of generated or placed elements when you land on them, adding a touch of mystery and discovery to your exploration. Think back to the first Mass Effect, where most of the planets were mostly barren with only a few mercenary and bandit bases scattered around. It seems like Starfield will have a similar approach, but with a suite of varied elements, hopefully offering more diversity. Howard mentions that approximately 10% of Starfield's whopping 1,000-plus planets will be inhabited giving it a bustling, scientifically plausible feel. It's an ambitious endeavor that pushes the boundaries of what we think about habitable planets and the resources they hold. However, Starfield aims to capture more than just scientific accuracy. It seeks to evoke the beauty and loneliness of our real-life universe. Howard quotes Buzz Aldrin's iconic line, The Magnificent Desolation, and talks about the breathtaking experience of landing on barren planets, where you might be the first and possibly the only person to ever set foot there. It's an exploration unlike anything we've seen before, creating a sense of awe and wonder. Now, if you're a fan of space, trucking an elite. Dangerous, this concept might sound familiar and enticing, but for those coming straight from Skyrim or Fallout 4, it could be a different experience. However, fear not. Howard reassures us that Bethesda has worked hard to strike a balance between the exploratory nature of Starfield and the more gaming elements. They've dialed it in pretty well, and we can't wait to see how it all comes together in September. So, get ready to embark on a journey through the magnificent desolation of Starfield's universe. The game's vast and lonely wastes await your exploration, and who knows what hidden treasures and wonders you'll discover along the way. Stay tuned for more updates as we approach the highly anticipated release date. Until then, keep your eyes on the stars and let your imagination soar.